Hello and welcome to Seven RPG. I am Sovereign. We're back in return to Moria today and we're going to finish off just finishing off the first level. We're going to go back and explore what we missed as I rushed to go get some of the tin and copper ore in the last episode to be able to unlock some of the further bits and pieces to get a little bit further within the game, you know. Um, we're just going to be jumping through. I'm going to run up and we're just going to complete part of what we're doing. Let me make sure to repair. It's been a little while since I made a video. There's been a lot of stuff going on. I haven't really had the time to do it. I tried to do a little bit of something different because I didn't have the, the amount, the length of time to be able to make recordings, but I do now. So we're okay for the foreseeable. So we're just going to continue on and just completely finish off and grab as many statues as we can of this first level. Uh, we, do, I don't, we don't have that much of it left. We do have the rangers camp here. We have Orc Town that we need to go for as well. So we'll clear out the Orc Town so we don't get attacked anymore on this floor. And then we'll see what we can go from there. I didn't make a... Um an ale. We didn't make a drink. We didn't make some alcohol. We should have really done that. Uh, we're going... We're don't even think about it. I'm trying to sh dodge with shift. I've been playing too much bloody New World. Let's get rid of him. Come on. Where are you at? As is another one. Did they did like fully respawn? Why has that got a, a new thing there? Uh, that's really strange actually to have that sitting there. I'm sure we cleared that out, no? Just pick everything up. Why not? We already have an orcish key. I don't know why it didn't work. I seem to have one just stuck in my bag, which is a weird thing. Let's have a look to see what we got through. We should be able to... No, not that many, to be honest. There's not that many orcs here. Um, right, there we have Ranger Scroll. We're going to need that in a moment. Do we have any more of those scrolls? I think we only have one on us right now. So we might have to have a little hunt around. There's probably, there's probably quite a few in that room, to be fair. Let's just pop our way through. Because we already went down into the other levels. We will have to go a little bit further. But I want to get and unlock all the armor pieces. So we can start building our dwarven vault down beneath the elven quarter. Sort of an underground build. Which I'll probably start to get. Once we get the uh, Shinor armor unlocked. And we can start making Iraz granite stone walls and stuff like that. Which I'm pretty sure we can't right now. Like I'm pretty sure we can't do that yet. No, we can't do it yet. We need to get the Shinor hammer to be able to get that, get that sorted. Actually, I think we need to actually build the next... Um, Half. Half, half, half. We need to build this one. We do have the bronze ingots and that to get that now. We needed to craft that and build that, which is what's going to unlock the next part for us. Uh, this is going into the stairs. We don't need to go that way. I didn't see any other scrolls hiding up in the nooks and crannies. Oh, uh, what's that over? I think that's just meat. Yeah, we'll head back through. And hopefully those ranger scrolls, they, they're usually around, like they, you, you usually find them around the uh, area of the rangers places. It's kind of cool that they show you a little bit on a the map, they don't on some of the other floors though, so don't expect to like always see where the rangers journals are, or any of those kind of things, because they kind of, they pop up sometimes and don't pop up other times, so it's kind of, it can get aggravating sometimes. Because you'll be searching around and you'll need something on the second deep and it'll, it'll be on the fourth deep. It can get quite, like, difficult to get to sometimes. Uh, let's just crack on all the way through here. Hopefully we'll get a song for this episode. Because you might... Jesus, Mary and Josie, this place is absolutely giant. Let's see what we've got. There should be a chest in. This should have one of them. How many do we need? Do we need just two? We need four. Very long ago. Uh, Rangers from very... Yeah, well, it's been a while since anyone's been down here, to be fair. Well, not really. It could have been, like, one of the Fellowship, I guess. I was going to have a quick look around to see if there was any... There's one there. We just need one more. There's the other one. Now we have all four. We can just crack on and go down. And just continue on in... Uh the search for statues. I didn't see a single statue in here, to be honest. Bah, bah, bye, bye. Let's see if we get as lucky as we did in the first run. What do you reckon? Are we going to get it? We got Miravir. We got the healing one again as the first healing brew. That's actually really bloody good. I'm really happy with that. Where is... There's a wolf over here. Let's kill him quickly so we can see if we can get your high scraps. Give me your high scraps. No. Just metal fragments. And some meaty boys. Uh, 
It's all right. You're just gonna take one hit, mate. Just, the, just like, just it's inevitable. You're gonna die, and that's it. Well, at least we unlock the mirror ball. We can use that once we start actually making that, and we can craft that. That healing brew is really, really good, especially if it's it's much better if you're doing it in a hardcore run. You don't. Oh, we're at the crossroads. I almost feels like this is exactly the same as the other playthrough we had. This is going to be a higher tier. No, no, because when we went through this last time, it was a higher tier. It was like the desolation when we got to that point. What's that up there? Come here, you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, we don't even need you. I thought that was the carving. But we're going to get a little carving going on there. Let's crack on through. I actually did something kind of weird today. Like, uh, I went to a, a concert for with my stepdad and my mum the other day. I don't know why I'm picking up those things. And I'd I heard the sound of this instrument, and it's a brass instrument, it's called a Euphorium, and I really liked it, and I really liked the way the guy played it. So I was like, yeah, I, I quite like that bit, like, it was really good. And next thing you know, I'm literally getting set up to play in a l little community brass band and learning how to play the Euphorium. Like, that's some old age pensioner level of doing stuff, but I enjoyed it. Today was actually quite fun. Got to learn something new as well, get my brain to be working again, get it moving. Come here, gobbers. See, that worked quicker that time. You can get two... Oh, Fallen Dwarf. And we can roll out of it so you don't have to sit there and pray, which is kind of rude. We should be really praying to our uh, ancestors. But yeah, I've started to learn to play the Euphorium. Maybe or something... Uh, I think I'm quite enjoying it. I used to play piano when I was younger. I gave the bass guitar a go. I gave a couple of... I played drums for a while. And, like, I always pick up instruments, but then I get, like bored because I'm learning for myself for the most part. Any instrument that I learn to use, I learn to use by myself, so it's like you kind of lose what you're like, it's, you lose interest when you're just playing it by yourself. I'm hoping that like, if it's because I'm playing with a band now, it would kind of be interesting to see how it goes. We'll have to check it out. I'm doing a concert this weekend, this week, so I have to learn a couple of beginner songs. Nothing, nothing serious. It should be quite a lot of fun. Remember, guys, if you do enjoy the content, make sure to throw up a comment and chuck down a like. It really helps the video get to further places. We've got some statues over here. I think this is going to be Iraz Granite. This is definitely... This is definitely the same setup as my previous one. I've got a different seed name. So this is going to be the Iraz Granite area. That We need to go get some more of that to be able to unlock those statues. I do have some back at the base, but it's a bit of a trick. Uh, we'll continue off and go into the Orc town and get that cleared out hopefully we can get something good over there because we still need to get the wolf and the uh, gatherer's armor the gatherer's or the i can't remember if it was hunter's armor the one that gives you better bow gives you better bow uh speed when you're firing your arrows just uh, take a sip of my cup too it's the most english thing i've said all week hopefully we can just get through this without too much of a hiccup we're not really worried anymore because of the not having hardcore rule and i'm a bit i'm a bit chill today so it's going to be a little bit like less high paced it's been a long it's been a long last week there's been a lot of stuff going on and hopefully we can i can sort of get that stuff sorted out soon so i can not be completely losing my mind we can go through the area, but I do want to carry some Eros Granite with us so I don't have to mark down the statues. So we'll clear out the rest of this first and we'll go back and get some Eros Granite and see if we can... Uh... What the hell was that? I just literally threw away my sword. That was not supposed to happen. Compacted dirt. This is going to get us through. This is complete opposite way to the... Ah, all towns up... I'm just being an idiot. I will just clear this little area because there's only one thing. I think the... Oh. Am I going to try and... Yeah, of course, because I just tried to kill you with a bloody pickaxe. Get him, get him, get him. Are you going to dig a hole in the floor? There's nothing in here. It's like a closed off little area. It'd be a nice place to build a little base. To be honest, it's not so bad. There are better spots, though. But if you like to keep it compact, and you could do a couple of floors in here and make it all look all nice, I think you could do a pretty good job in this one. There's stairs going down to it and everything, so you could build out a little bit further.
all towns just through this bit of dirt and we're gonna go in and we're gonna try and just like because i th i believe because we learned in the last one that literally if you just kill the bosses you get a part of the axe fragment you only need to kill four bosses and you only need to get four fragments what's that with it iron ore so we only need to get four fragments to actually just rebuild the Duran's axe to open up a lot of the areas etc uh there's gonna be a way this way is just gonna be it feels like it's there's a change with the like i don't know what's happened if there's been a revert for the lighting it seems like there's something a little bit different i'm not really sure what it is but it just seems like the lighting is a bit different compared to what i was using previously got some more iron over here i've been enough for these orc towns to know that there's certain things in certain places and in certain places there's nothing like what i would like to see in this game like let me know down below if there's anything that you think would be really good like for to make this game just that little bit better because it is already a really good game and i'm really still enjoying myself i'm not like, saying that i'm not but if there was like when you get to the past the end of the campaign if you could have like some dwarves that come inside and help you rebuild just a little bit of activity inside it could open up a whole nother level of this game like just the just from the sheer activity of being able to like maybe run or control we got some sunstones that is massive i oh, and it's adamant son of a bitch just got overexcited for literally nothing um just to have it to be a little bit more lived in i'd really love to see something like that i'd really love to see the game expand itself and have maybe have some like control over what they do if they go and grab you resources and stuff maybe a couple of dwarves actually fall down into the mountain with you oh god, oh, god. they are back and i've only got three dodges come on big boy Uh, who who, <laughs> who named him Bullgag is the question. Who named this guy Bullgag? Where's the big boy gone? Did he jump down? Let's just try and kill a couple of these gobbles because they keep coming if you don't kill the big guy. So it doesn't really matter how many times you kill this dude. There he is there. Okay, let's get rid of him. Boom, boom. Oh, we need to dodge more. I need to remember what the button is. What's the button for dodge? It's control. I was pressing alt again, playing too many bloody other games. Why can't I dodge? Holy crap, I'm having a really bad time of dodging. I don't know if I can use my axe, it does more damage or not. I I'm going to try. Of course I'm just going to let him hit me. Why wouldn't I let him do it? No. You'll die like any orc. Okay, let's get him around this corner a second. Because I need to get rid of some of these big boys. Dodge. I need to stop sp stop sprinting. I need to stop holding that sprint button down. You will fall like Azog. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, man. I don't know why I'm having so much bloody trouble dodging. What has happened since I haven't played this week? Like... I just feel like, why is he not doing anything now? And now I'm just stuck in a con dodging animation. What is that about? Of course, I just literally, it's just not dodging. It used to dodge all the way. It would cancel any animation. It used to dodge all the way. We got so many of them. I can't dodge. I literally can't dodge. I am spamming the control button. I've got full st- Oh shit, 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 shit. Fucking hell. God damn it. Now I've got to get all the way bloody back down there and get all my stuff back. Jesus Christ. Why is the... I, I'm, I literally... I can't dodge. Why am I not able to dodge whenever I press the button? How come it worked that time but didn't work any of the other times? Ah, oh, right. Right, we're back and I've got no... Uh, this is going to be even worse. Where is my we bag? we got... Gobbers falling out the sky and stuff. I need to pick up all of this. Take all. Okay, we're good. I've got no armor though. Get out of my face. I'm not having any of your crap today. Let's just try and get these dodges. I think it's working now. I reset the game, so we're actually able to dodge this time. Apart from that moment, I couldn't dodge that one. Because there's too many bloody gobbers behind me. Oh, 
We need to really just drop him down. And I need to time his hits properly. There we go. And hopefully this, all that, just get hit. Eat, eat quicker. Eat quicker. There we go. No, you ain't. You ain't got anything. Why? I can't dodge again. I literally can't dodge again. Again. I can't dodge. Again. I've got no food left. Where's the exit? Run around in a circle. Let's get back through the exit and sort this out. I need to go get a, a blunt weapon because he's got heavy armor. Or an axe. We'll go make the steel axe. That's what we'll do. Because that's just like ridiculous me trying to kill that with a sword. Um, what is that madness? I literally <laughs> looked away for one second and got one shot. Right, we're going to quickly craft up some stuff. Uh, where is my blood? There it is there. It's like, where is my forge? Let's craft up a couple of things. We'll get a steel battle axe. We'll get that and we'll get the last alliance maul. We have the shield in that already. We haven't unlocked all the Erebor stuff yet. Well, that came down in the lower levels, so we will need to sort that out at some point. Recipe list. What are we missing from the rest? Oh, brew tank. We've got stuff. We've got the mirror buff and the bruise tank. The king's brew tank. But it said 12, not 2. But at least we've got that now. We've got the axe and we've got the hammer. It'll be a lot easier doing that. We'll get back there and we'll do it this time for sure. Right, so this time... We're going to use the shield because we haven't got enough armor. And I haven't didn't, I don't have enough black diamonds on me to teleport back. I'll be running back. I, I literally just ran the wrong way. So we're going to try and do it this time with the hammer. Let's see how it goes. Where the hell? Ah. I was like, where the hell's the way to go? It just vanished from my existence. But we're going to do it with the hammer this time. Um, where is he? He's up there. Let's get him down. We're doing more damage now. We're doing way more damage now. And we should have done this in the beginning because you can actually... It's easier to do the blocking as well because for some reason there's a big issue with my... My alarm's gone off! Oh crap. It's much easier to do the blocking because my rolling is not bloody working right now. There we go, he's dead. We got the Durin's Axe Fragment One Piece. And that's all sorted now. Let's just collect all this crap. Oh, is this guy chasing me still? Yeah, I'm a face, man. Okay, there we go. Get my sword out. We're going to collect all the goodies that we left lying around here. Gold coins. Scraps. Hides. Come here, you. Bye-bye. This guy's running away. If you did a sprint and you do a double tap at the end of the sprint, it's actually really, uh, it does a really quick successive hit. So we have unlocked the Durin's lamp. That's with the sunstones. We've got a full ass bag. Uh, let me put this on. There we go. Because we want to take everything back to base. Get all of those resolves because we're going to be using the lows a lot more. Because I raised the difficulty all the way up. Uh, everything's on the highest difficulty right now. That's probably why I didn't remember. It's been a couple of days since we played. So I didn't remember that. So I was just charging through thinking that I was going to get it done easily. But no, we just got our asses kicked. So now we don't have that area. But the thing is that in a lot of these areas, we still have because of this. Because of what we have here with these uh, with the higher rank area. We have to go to an orc town in a different area. On a different level to completely lock that one out. Is there another one? Let's get the axe out. Come on, axe. No, you're not going to do it either, are you? Let's go. Oh, God. Hello. Why are you hitting me? We need to... Don't you kill me, asshole. Right. Let me get out of here because I forgot that I didn't have any armor. I forgot I didn't have any HP and I'm having a typical soft fashion. Let's just get the hell out of here and we'll teleport back because I have enough black crystals now. Black diamonds. Oh, shit. I'm in a... I'm in a menu. What are you doing here? How did you <laughs> even get there, man? Got. What do you mean? He almost killed me because I was stuck in a menu, man. What do you mean? Is that all you've got? Let's go back to the dwarf vault and repair our gear and not have a moment of madness because we're also starving to death. Everything's going wrong today. 
I mean, it usually goes wrong, to be honest. Most stuff goes wrong when I'm uh, playing. Especially recently, I'm having a bit of madness going on. We can't actually even... Where's the boxes with the food? Chest with the food, because we can't even sleep until we eat something. Let's eat a mushroom. No, that's not going to do anything. We'll eat one of these. That's going to get our HP up. We're going to sleep till the morning, eat, and then go back out and continue on and explore that entire area. Get the mushrooms. We don't have enough for the breakfast at the moment. But let's travel back. Mapstone, Orc Town. We'll go do that. We'll collect it. We'll pick it up. We're wearing everything now. We've got our full armor, so I'm not going to be too worried about that stuff now. Let's break that down with the X button. And we'll continue on going into another Orc Town, it seems like. It was another Orc Town, at least. God, that travel seemed to be so far, but it wasn't far at all. Get him, Baba. Get rid of this guy, this guy, this guy is gone. Ah, oh, we need to go inside, guys. We need to go inside. Get out of the way, stop hitting me. We need to kill these banners, otherwise they'll keep bloody spawning and there's two of them here. Okay, come on. Let me fruit. Let's get rid of some of these little ones on the way. Right, now they're both gone. We should stop these guys from spawning in. Let's dodge out of the way. My dodge button's not working. Still, there it worked once there. That was nice. Thank you very much for working. Come on, dodge. I'm just gonna have to use my weapon to block. Maybe there, has there been an update recently that I don't know about? Because it seems like I can't. The combat's changed. I don't think it's. Oh, well, I don't think it's fully me, but it could be. We just picked up a load of stuff, and I forgot to drop everything off. <laughs> so I, I forgot. I just, it's, I'm having a moment of madness, guys. Don't worry about it. We'll be able to survive. Let's go and break through. I think it's just going to be. It's just the entrance way. It's just the way that they messed up the. Um, where's my pick? Number six is normally number four. We'll fix that as well later on. Uh, normally, it's, you go through this gate and you go through and find, but they kind of when the with the the way that the maps gets put out, um, when they get procedurally generated, it's just tile sets. So those tile sets can be in any order. So it can actually end up being pretty bad sometimes. Getting really high tier areas in the first area and just blocking your way from getting through to the next zone, for example, that's happened to me previously. This is the way. Uh, this is either going to be up or down. Is this up? This is the third stair, so we can go up to the other floors this way. I don't think we can go down, though. Can we go down? No, this is definitely going up to the other floors. So we'll use this floor to go up. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, do this floor, go do the first deep. Then go up to the second floor, do the second deep, third floor, third deep, fourth floor, fourth deep. And we're going to be doing that. I don't know if there's going to be a slight change in the way that I do the videos coming up in the future. Because I have more time to do editing and stuff. So maybe I'll do far more in the actual series itself. And just edit it down to a to a digestible amount, but not taking out too much of the just the some of the boring stuff where I'm just running around and just not doing anything. Oh, can we get through this or not? I keep pressing four. Oh, I have to get round. Is that how much? How much iron? Or, it's going to be all the way through, isn't it? It's going to be all the way fucking through. There we go. Let's just get back to base. So we dropped everything off. We're just going to upgrade this. So we're just going to put this one down. It's going to put down the tile turf and it's going to unlock that one. But it doesn't unlock what we need. We, need. we can actually make the tile turf down here as well now. I actually have to start. That's really nice. Okay, so we have that. We have that sort of set up. And then there's going to be the grand turf, which we are not going to have because we need adamant to do that one. But that's going to fill up this entire space down here that we're going to be building. And we will move that eventually. But uh, that should have really unlocked some more stuff for us. But it, it unlocked a couple of wooden beams and stuff. But it didn't unlock any of the other things that I thought it would. I thought that should unlock some of our um, hammers and stuff. Those hammers, they're going to be unlocked by the forges. I just completely forgot that that was a thing. Uh, just had a little bit of moment of madness. Uh, what do we have still left in here? We have some of the carvings, some milled oats, etc. Let's fix our armor up. 
and we'll go and take the Eros Granite into that last little area on this floor, get this area completed, because we do have a load of the granite. Yeah, let's pick all that up. Don't know how much we're going to need, but we're going to use it all anyway, and see what armor that gets us. How many did I, how many did I take? Only 99. We're going to take it all, just in case. Why not? We can go down and farm some more. I can farm some more granite in between. Uh, we do need to go over this way. So we're going to head over to this side over here and we're going to complete off this little area. I have to say the hardest difficulty on this game is on another level. The amount of bloody patrols and stuff that are everywhere is absolutely insane. Like, And they respawn really damn quickly as well. It makes it a lot harder. I just need to figure out what's wrong with my bloody... Uh, Dodge button, it's just not working. Oh, we got the Khazad Army. We're already wearing the Khazad Army stuff. Which is a little bit of a shame. It would have been nice to get that un something in like a little different unlocked in this area. There is another statue somewhere. There it is there. There's always two in one of these zones. You'll always find two of them. L what was that noise in the background? Well, at least we'll be able to craft the Khazad Army and get that set up. Because we can make some of the... We need to finish up the Erogian set, actually. The Eragian. I can never pronounce that properly. Tell me down below how I'm supposed to pronounce that bloody word. Eregian? Eregian? I mean, it was in the latest Rings of Power TV series. I don't know if any of you have watched that. I haven't seen a single episode of it yet. Of any of them. Of either of them, I haven't seen a single episode. Is this going to be a big-ass way up? It is. Ah, so we're going to have the bridge. Is that the bridge of Khazad-dum? It is, yeah. So that's going to be where it unlocks the bit... Oh god, I just did something stupid. Tried to kill him with a hammer. But we do need a better weapon. Can I can I use this axe hurt? Yeah, it does. Let's get our shield out. If I can get the bloody reach to 8 key on my keyboard. So we can use the Kazada War Axe we've got here. I wonder if these guys actually give us ironwood by killing them with it. Can you just, for a minute... Come on. Come on. Why are you not? Oh, because you need bloody. Come on. We need to go break that. There's one down. There's two down. Let's kill this guy. Can Can I use the hammer on this dude? Is it going to do more damage? No, it's not. It's actually going to do nothing. Switch back over to the axe. we got wargs and stuff here. This guy is actually pretty nuts. So why is he fighting the wargs? That's nice. Block. This area might be a bit tougher than I thought. This is going to be a whole ass area where it's going to go down into the first deep, I believe. We've got the brew skin recipe from that guy. How do we unlock it? Oh, no, because we picked up some leather. We picked up some actual leather. There we go. So that's going to be the next part. Let's kill this off real quick. I don't want any more of these guys spawning next to me. Block and block and block. Durin's lamp. We can actually build those now, so I do need to start getting the resources, because we're going to be doing that. We have to do that in this series. It is the... Uh, let's open this. Give me Fury Abacabacabacas. This place is going to be absolutely massive. We got anything... I don't think there's any Muznikans in this area, and we're not going to get much out of these buildings, like, much at all that we don't already have. We're getting quite a lot of resources. So I'm not going to go through every single... What's that guy just standing there, living his best life over there? Come on, big boy. Of course you're going to hit before I could actually get it off. Can you just, like... We need to get better weapons. I was hoping maybe we can get, like, uh, the Matic. The Khazad Matic. That would have been really nice to get right now. Uh, let's just scoot our way around here so we can get around the purple. Because we can't unlock... We haven't got the, st the, the stuff to actually do the Jiren's Lamps right now. But I do need... We are going to open up these boxes. They sometimes give us some really good stuff. Um, but not that time. Sometimes we get seeds and stuff out of there. Because we can actually start to do the, the farming right now. We've got a couple of sunstones in one of the battles we just fought. I only have 10 wood scraps on me. What do we have? What's that? Gold. But it's adamant. Of course it's adamant. 
We need to unlock the quarry master. I still can't figure out how to do that. We should have been able to do that already. Is this just the whole area? Oh, there's a statue over there, so we are going to have to go over there anyway. Let's try and do a Gimli jump. He'll be so proud of us. Can we get over there? I've got five left. I can scoot around the edge here. I don't think we're going to get too much it there. We can get around. Let's unlock this statue. That's a hell of a lot of adamant right near the base as well. That'll be really nice later on. That's a lot of adamant. Once we can get that next pickaxe, the quarry master, or any of those ones, because there's a lot of adamant in here. Uh, we can't even get our way through that at the moment. Because we can't go into those two directions without the next tier of pickaxe, which we should get here soon. I'll, I kind of wanted to progress a bit faster. Because you guys said I ran through the last one like an energizer bunny, so I wanted to slow it down just a little bit. Because I started to stay, I love people saying I would miss a few things and stuff like that. I mean, I didn't miss anything that I didn't already, like, uh, everything that I ran past, I ran past on purpose because we just run into get tin and copper. So I ran past those bits on purpose. Um, that seems like we're going to have to go up to go to the Khazad Doom bit, I think. Uh, is that, that's just rock. Let's crack on through this way. Unless it's just through here and this is just going to be the double door. It is the double door. Nice. Because we can get through to the first floor in this one. The first deep. We can go to the right hand side and work our way down. But we're going to see the a little sneaky thing over here. Come on, break the bloody door down. Are we going to get it down or not? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Alright, there's some orcs over there. Hello. Are you going to come through? There you are. I might have been able to get through there if I just ran straight across. and let the, I, I should have tried that. Oh god. I tried to get through the door. I should have really tried that. You're just going to stand there and leave me to do my thing. I'm that insignificant that that dragon does not give a shit that I'm standing there. 80 adamant, 50 black diamonds. There is a way to go down over that way and there is a way to go down over that way, but we're not going to go down. We are, however, going to cut our way through here because there is... A ranger bit, but the ranger bit's on the other side. Because we can actually get up to the next floor through that way as well. Because there'll be a way that you can climb up inside down here, but there is a ranger's thing in the bottom. But I don't, I haven't picked up or seen any ranger's notes in this area. What's that over there? That's a chest. This might have a ranger's note in it. There is some uh, umbers and wood over there. No, we just have a book. There is some umbers and some wood over there. Just a tiny amount. Maybe enough. You might be lucky enough to get enough for the uh, gem cutter. There should be. Let's hold the E down and see if we can't grab any ranger's notes. Because I haven't seen a single one. There's going to be one in this chest. Am I only going to need one? We can make a smashed curry. How many do we need? We need four. Is there any around? No, I already went in there. I was holding down E. That's why I opened up that box again. It wasn't me just screwing up again. Um, is there going to be anything there? Did we get any more? No. So we're going to have to run around and grab a couple more. We do need two more of those notes. And it's probably going to be in the next area. Uh, oh, that's just up on the higher. Why are there such small piggies sometimes? And really big ones in other places. Was there a... Oh, no, it's just my light reflecting off the beautiful gold. We will have to go back down there and grab it. Because we still want to get some of the other brews. We don't use that many of them. Mirivor is probably the only one you're really going to use that often. There is ones that you can use for like uh, shadow and stuff like that. But once you get Jiren's axe, you can just run through all the shadow in the world, to be honest. Now, that's where the ranger's thing is down there. You can climb up this way if you don't go through that little side door. 
But when you're playing a campaign, you come from that way anyway, so you can be able to seal that. Can we, can we, are you going to let me climb up here? No, you're not. Of course you're not. For this moment, you're not going to let me do it. All right, darkness of night falls. We do need to get back to base soon because we got tired. We're going to be starving here in a second. Oh, we have some nom noms in there. There might be... There's a lot of chests in this room. There's one of the ranger's notes. We've got four now. Is this going to give me another one? That's four. And we're going to have to go back there and grab it. What do we have in this little area? We have a statue. There's a fallen dwarf. What's over that way? Is that going to be the big... Ah, that's where the... Um Let's go have a quick look. Or is this just one of the ways that we didn't go through? Ah, because there's the stairs down. Okay. This is where we didn't... We went down instead of up on this one. Or did we come into here and go... Is that the way we came in? I do need to head back and get some... What's that? It's a cart. Maybe this was just the way we came in. No, it isn't. It isn't, it isn't. The, the, I don't know, this, they need to do something about the map. For like the, the average casual person like me, the map needs a little love. Because you, can, you can't really tell what's up and down. I mean, exploring is really good. Um, but when you like run around and you've explored the game a few times and you want to just see where like the up and down parts are. I can't even see shit. There we go. Then it might be uh, better for some of us to actually be able to see the different floor levels without it just being floor because there's so many different elevations in each of the areas which is also part of why the game they, they wanted it to be that way and i understand that and i'm okay with it it's just it would help some people i think if uh they was able what the hell is this oh god purple stink we don't want to be in the shadow there there's some gundabad orcs in there Right, starving. Do we have anything we can eat? Let's just eat a bit of meat. It's going to give us some poison, but it's going to stop us from starving to death, at least for the moment. Alright, let's uh, place down. Do we have enough to place down? Please tell me we do. We do indeed. Boom, there's one. Go back, map stone down. And we head back to the dwarf vault. We pretty much cleared most of the area out now anyway. It is night time, so we can actually just do that. We'll put the cooking on. We'll repair everything. And we'll head to sleep to get rid of that night time. My axe is ready. Just eat all this up. All of the good times. Uh... That's what I was going to do. I was going to start dropping off the stuff in the... Uh, so we're going to deposit similar. Deposit similar. Deposit similar. Deposit similar. Alright, we're going to deposit some of the stuff in here that we can't have anywhere to go right now. We'll keep that in there because we're going to need it. Let's just bang these in here. We needed those four. Uh, 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 uh. Let's get all those inside. Lovely. Oh, we've got more arrows granite there. Let's put that there. Put that in the right place. Put you on number four, because that's where you should be. Lovely. And then we'll fix the rest of that up. We did eat. We did get everything. Let's go head back. And we repaired. Eastern Bastion. Eastern Bastion on the first level. That's like just trying to get you murdered. All right. So we're going to head back the way we came to go and get that ranger's note. Let's get that fallen dwarf. And we can just roll out of it so you don't have to do the whole animation. Little trick someone taught me in the comments. Thank you very much. All those tips and tricks really do help me out, guys. So if you do have any, just let me know. Let me know down below. Let me tell me I'm doing something wrong. I love it. And it helps me through the playthrough. Just got to head down the bottom here. Uh, we're going to jump down a hole. I think it might murder us, though. Um, let's just drop down to that one. 
Uh, fallen, falling dwarf. I was about to say fallen dwarf. We're not that fallen yet. And we're down. Let's see what it gives us. Let's see what the uh, sandbox mods give us. Iron Heart Stout. That's another really good one. It's a defensive one. That's really, really nice, actually. Uh, I actually... We do have it. So I'm going to build... Do we, we don't have any wood scraps. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Let's just break all this crap. It's going to give us enough. Okay, come on. There we go. Give me all your wood scraps. We can make campfire. Because we do need to explore the other side of this. So we can actually come back and explore that later on. Let's head back to the Dwarven Vault. I want to do some building in the next episode or so. We're going to start building this area because we now have the big tiled one. We can get the Grand Herf here soon. But we do need to find some more of the... Um... No, we need to go into the first deep. We need to find the Eldritch Blessing. Uh, we also need to find um, the uh, some of the forges. We need to find some of the forges. Now, it's got the Orc Town here. There's a Dragon's Lair. The Dragon's Lair is in the third deep. Really? Why is the dragon's the dragon's lair in the third deep? Okay, so we gotta be a little bit careful down there. We need to find some of the forges. Let me know if you know that there's a tipple trick that you can find those forges because they can be literally anywhere. I don't think they're even set on floors right now, so it's gonna be rather difficult to actually get that going. Why do you keep just like putting that away? I've got the f tiled hearth in here. I've got loads of hearths, and it's like there's no light in here. It's like it's not like it gets any darker down here if it's day or night. That kind of confuses me. Right, so that's all we have for today's one. It was just a really quick one. Um, we're going to be going into a different format starting from Monday. Tomorrow, we're going to be going into a little bit of a different format. We're going to get a lot more stuff done. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more regimented, so I'm not all over the place. Um, a lot of people, there were some comments regarding that uh, in previous episodes. So we're going to try and sort that out. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like and sub if you haven't already for your survival game and goodness. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.